Hi there. This is a little series I'm going to try to put together called uh, the Quarantine Survival Kit. As many of us are working from our desktops, it's time to make the most of the equipment that we have in front of us. And a good start on that is to install something called Google File Stream, especially if you're a student and you have a Google Education Suite that is attached to your school email address, or if you're in business and you also have a Google uh, Agreement, a Google Enterprise Edition. So I'll show you how this works. If you don't have those, you do have Gmail, and Gmail has something called Backup and Sync that might do something that's similar to this. So we'll show you how to set up file stream, but for those people with Backup and Sync, you might look into that and give it a try as well. Here it goes. The application that I have is that I have students that have to do audio projects, but they may not have a desktop microphone. But they do have their cell phones. And for a lot of us, the cell phones are incredibly capable. And if you have an audio app on there that's capable as well, uh, you can get some really good recordings out of it, and I'll give you a demonstration of that right now. I'm going to hit my audio recorder. This one is simply called Audio Recorder for Android. And I'm going to make a quick uh, voiceover that I'm going to put together in a project in a second. So this is the first step along the way to survival in quarantine. And this is an example of how you can use file stream to try to get audio files from your phone onto your computer. Good luck. So that's a 12 second long little piece. It's going to be pretty short. Here's the secret to it. We are going to go to My Drive and I'll show you how you get it set up, but I've already got it set up on my computer. Under the little gear up top, you have something called Get Drive for Desktop. And Get Drive for Desktop will allow you to download something that is called the Google Drive File Stream. And it's an application that you install. You can get it for Windows or you can get it for Mac. It'll work on laptops, it'll work on desktops. If you have a Google Chromebook, you probably have this functionality built in. If you go look at files, you might find a direct link to whatever you've logged into. So going back to the Google Drive, the Google Drive, I've got it set up with an audio folder, and this is where I default my recordings to go to. So on my phone, I have installed the Google Drive app so that I can upload this very easily, and I'll show you that in a second. But I want to show you where it's all going to go. The idea is to get it easily onto my computer. And I have a recording that was already there. I'm going to get rid of this one. I'll show you how easily this gets put together. So it works something like this. I am going to go to my recordings and I'm going to play back that recording. Well, actually, I'm not going to play it. I'm going to share it. And because I have the Google Drive app on my phone right now, I can just go share. And then I can choose the Google Drive app down at the bottom. And then my credentials are up top in the folder that I choose to share it with. So when I hit save, it's going to share that file directly with the Google Drive through Wi-Fi. So far, so good. Now, normally I'd have to go to my computer and download from there, or I would have had to take it from email and download it from the email. The beauty of this is it's pretty seamless and you simply download straight from your computer network drive. There's no downloading involved. And it's not actually transferring the file. It's only transferring a link, which just showed up. It looks like it's a file, but it's on demand and it won't occupy too much space on your computer hard drive until you actually double click it. But I'm not going to double click this one. As you can see, it's shown up in the Google Drive folder. By the way, the file stream looks like this. It's just a link at the top under quick access. And you can go to my drive and you can go to whatever folder you've defaulted to send things to. So back under my applications, move that out of the way and I'll go to Soundtrap as an example. I've got some music that I've put into Soundtrap and now I want to add my audio. So I'm just going to go import file. And because it is working as though this is a networked drive, I can now just double click the audio file and put it in there right away. Now my project looks like this. So this is the first step along the way to survival in quarantine. And this is an example of how you can use file stream to try to get audio files from your phone onto your computer. Good luck. I hope that helps, ladies and gentlemen. By the way, you're hearing the audio off a Blue Yeti microphone right now, so that's the, the comparison between using your cell phone and a sophisticated USB mic. Cell phone's incredibly capable if you set it up right. Hope it works for you, and I hope this makes life just a little bit easier under the current circumstances. Good luck.